All right, what's good, guys? This is Murphy coming back again with a new video. This video is not about any like new pickups or reviews. I'm just uh, trying to talking about some generic like shopping ideas or tips, just in general. So just want to share it with you guys. So maybe you can save a save a quite a few bucks in your purchase. So let's take part in like two different scenarios. One I will talk about online shopping. The other one I'll just talk about like in stores, like local boutique. So for online shopping, actually I'm not gonna talk about too much because I believe there's a lot of video already, like like the shopping ideas, tips. The only thing I want to say is like, so in general, if I'm looking for purchasing something, I always like trying to decide if I'm purchased at retail price or waited on sale but this is very like like I mean this is a, this is a, actually a case by case scenario because um, some of the stuff will just uh, gone like sold out immediately at retail price but um, in some cases there's still stuff being like remaining stuff being still in stock until they hit the sale season uh, for example like the Balenciaga this year is going really really strong and uh, a lot of them their stuff is just sold out immediately at retail price like the I believe the own sweatshirt also as, as well as the speed speed runner and I'm pretty sure the speed runner I saw them on sale like probably last season or the season before like the, at the time people are not really like into them but right now it just blowed out I guess so like for example like for if trying to get Balenciaga right now probably you're gonna just try and get it like ASAP like immediately I'm I doubt it it will go on sale like any soon further like maybe some of the pieces like will hit on sale during the boxing day like December but normally like like the S for example the S triple S sneakers that one like for pre-orders it's gone in seconds so, like it's just that crazy so but for another example like like another brand like Go Share of Chinsky actually at the beginning the brand is really booming I guess and uh, like the stock gone in seconds in a lot of different retailers but like I believe like after years or after different seasons they they just uh, pushed up the stock and the quantities and uh, rarely we can see a lot of items going to sale uh, that's probably the judgment you would make when you're trying to find an item it's kind of like a gambling like sometimes if you if you know it's gonna sell out and you purchase it, like immediately other than that you can you can patiently wait so it's it depends case by case if an item like i like it a lot and uh, i feel like i can get a lot of wear into it and i will probably just grab it immediately because at the end of the day it's gonna worth it so that's basically for online shopping that's that's the case i mean and another tip is like uh, trying to if you're trying to like beginning if you're trying to grab something from retail by retail try from european site because i mean for me i'm in us right now so i still get 19 percent vat tax deduction in most of the european boutique and the shipping is not that bad like considering the the currency and all that because the, the currency right now is pretty good like for us to euro and even for british pound so i would say check out european like site first rather than like just go in us by us from us retailer by us stock because and as well as like right now it's, uh, i believe the tax the duty and tax threshold is like 800 dollars so everything below 800 dollars you won't get hit by duty and tax which is really good news for like for like us international shoppers yeah that's the uh, that's probably the only like two tips I have. Yep. And um, there's a bunch of like the European side from UK, US, EU, Spain. Like I believe like there's other video who, who already did that. So I'm just not gonna repeat. All right, right now let's talk about like um, locally. Like 
I'm not sure like where you can locate, but for me, I'm in Michigan. So the really the one big shopping mall is called Somerset. But honestly, like in Michigan, there's not really good shopping, like really, really good shopping spot. But the source I'm looking for is actually Northern Rack. Yeah, you heard it right. Like just Northern Rack. Probably not Northern, but Northern Rack. So what happened is like a lot of like re returns or just um, like because Nordstrom offers like 90 days, I believe 90 days return policy that leads to a lot of the item being returned back to them. And where those items go, they go basically normally they're going to Nordstrom Rack. And if it's a lot of items, they're probably going to Hot Look, also, by, also owned by Nordstrom. So <clears throat> for those returns, it's probably gonna like distribute it evenly into different stores. And that's the place you might find some good steals or just amazing steals. So especially I believe in Nordstrom Rack, there's a like extra sale section. Like, I mean, just the, yeah, just a section of item like, like in different sizes gathered by different sides like in red actually you sometimes you might get like 25 to 30 percent extra like probably end of each month i'm not sure the like exact date but i'm pretty sure you can look it up so in that section basically are all those return items because for for example like most of those return item is only coming one per size or just just one item at all so what they're gonna do is just put it on to that rack or that section and um, most of them get a lot of a good discount on it and uh, also i feel like only that section you can find some good designer names so for me i seen tom brown which i grabbed i'm probably gonna show you later i also see yuji yamamoto i see y3 i see most chino i see alexander wang i see helmut long i mean that's only like in my location and i'm pretty sure michigan is already the, like probably the worst case scenario because i travel to boston and chicago their northern rack have have far more like variety of this designer brand but also i mean more people trying to pick them up more people knowing them so that's another thing so yeah for me like i really like northern rack because in some cases i will find more stuff or more good stuff rather than nordstrom like the main store because the main store like they only carry the limited of brand especially in here i'm so for example in here is they used to have apc then they canceled it they, they dropped apc out of their like i guess the brand list of this store so that's that's how it is in here so but in Northern Rack, like I, I like last trip, I will show you guys later, like what's the best deal I ever got like during this years. The other part I think is the sweet shopping. Um, it's more like, I'm not talking about Goodwills or maybe Goodwills or any like street store or like vintage shop. But the, only, the, the, the two thing you need to know is like most of the case, if the owner have that knowledge, like what, what the item is, they're probably gonna jack up the price a little bit. And another thing, like you, you are pretty, pretty much you are unsure about the authenticity of the item because I mean, it's old, it's vintage, and, but who knows if it's real, right? And um, yeah, that's um, pretty much about it. And I'm gonna just show you guys what's uh, awesome awesome steel i found so the first one actually i'm wearing right now this is a, a tank top from Demer doma i found this one in 21st century uh in in new york in new york city uh the one in manhattan so yeah i mean 21st century is like the same type of deal with normal some rack but it's more like made majority focus on designer brand and because they don't have here in Michigan, I'm just gonna pass it. But if you're in New York, definitely like look deep there. And um, yeah, all right. So this probably is a 
biggest steal I got of all time. Uh, ignore this uh, like city G hire. So this is a uh, like a Tom Brown uh, wool varsity jacket with the slip suede sleeves. Like you can see the green of this uh, suede. It's really thick. So yeah, it's basically it's like a varsity jacket with this uh, like. Uh, lined button in the front and uh, some uh, kind of like a suiting material inside of it. Yeah, and this is a uh, Tom Brown and size 2 So I believe this one I'm not sure which season is this probably like 2014 something 2014 2013 ish and like the retail I think is around like 1200 US dollars and this one got somehow got into my Norse rag and I found it for like 350. Yeah, I guess say like you might be jealous, but this is like probably the best deal I found like ever. And uh, this is actually a really really decent jacket and I wear it a lot during the winter, like pre fall winter, and uh, got a lot of compliment on this one. And yeah, the, the most like iconic like picture I found is actually Nick Young is wearing this jacket, like doing a, a I believe it's a complex or GQ sneaker shopping session in Reef, Reef LA. So yeah, definitely I love this jacket very much and definitely one of my like favorite pieces of outerwear ever. So all right and. Here's uh, another piece. Is, actually, this one's not from Northern Rack. Uh, this is a jacket found from Northern, but I'm pretty sure this is also from like I mean the so-called return section, because like my Northern is never carrying like Stone Island ever. It's just not in, in existing in that brand list. So this is a Stone Island uh, with soft shell jacket. It's really like nice. Navy pottery, it's a, it's a soft shell material, it's kind of like a wind proofing and waterproofing and have this like uh, hood, hood over it. So yeah, this one is, uh, I'm not sure, pretty, I think I picked it up for like 220, something like that. And I've been wearing it like for work, for like, uh, like probably last winter, like a long time before the snow came. So. It's definitely it's really nice like utility and yeah it's called a soft shell terry r so the inside of it is kind of like a french terry material but uh, anyway it's like pretty good still i found so and here's some stuff like i found just uh, like a week ago so this is a short sleeve t-shirt from our legacy so our legacy is another like uh uh, Swedish brand just like Acme Studio and They're doing uh, like a lot of amazing stuff with uh, decent quality. So this is a shirt. It's just a regular uh, T-shirt. I'm not sure like the official name of it. Let me see if I can find it from the tag Yeah, it's called just called black reverse the V T And I believe this retail is like 160 and I grabbed this like for 45 or 50 something like that the only the very interesting like uh, for this shirt is like this one have no shoulder cut. You can't see the any the, the shoulder line. It's just two piece of cotton stitched together from front and the back. So there's a uh, yeah. I, I like I really like this design. Well, it's not like a relevancy, but it just give you the so if your shoulder at this point, if you just like drip it down a little bit. And the material is just uh, awesome. It's just uh, probably like the the most like quality shirt I ever got like recently. And the next stitching is just impeccable. It's like yeah. And the size is like uh, I'm not sure. It's like a 42, but it fits me really well. Like I'm usually a uh, medium to large. So yep. And the last piece is again is uh, also the same tree like uh, two weeks ago. It's just a pair of like uh, chinos or you know just regular 
regular pants. I got it from work, just for work. Yeah, because like my other like pants is kind of like destroyed. I mean, dress code is dress code. I can't really like doing much thing about it. But so this pair of pants is from uh, Rag and Bone. It's like a New York based brand that that I like a lot. I mean, the thing is like all rag, rag and bone pieces I have is pretty much high quality like the material is super soft and uh, all the manufacturers in is based in the US so it's, you, got, you will see like made in USA the tag there and overall it's just really quality brand and I highly recommend it if you can find like it on sale I mean rag and bone probably like the best like mid tier to high tier brand like and really accessible and their aesthetic or their style is more towarding like modern fashion or like like for me i can wear those things to work like with no problem like button ups like polos so yeah there i probably end up like getting more stuff from them so yeah, it's a slim fitting, uh, nice pair of like a khaki pants, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and ho also hope you guys can find some steals. So trying to save some bucks because you, at the end of the day, you still need savings so you can purchase more. Like saving is always good. It's like, I mean, I save a ton of money like by just. You know just uh, thinking about where to purchase where should i get it like trying to hunt them down and yeah also yeah one last thing i want to mention like there's a, a reddit group or actually there's a server place yeah i want to mention so there's a reddit group called um frugal males fashion basically it's a reddit group that will post a lot of like a sales or steals i mean their brand varies there might be like really low-key like a gap like i mean just injury the old navy uh h m like tier there's also be someone who posting like mr porter barney's like all this like high-end upscale sales and also there's another place that follow just for sales so there's one that's a style form so I believe it's just styleform.com. They have like a official like sales suite. So a lot of like a brand ambassador in their in that form will posting sales themselves. So, so there will be people posting different sales there. And the other form I fo I follow actually is a Kanye to the. It's just Kanye West form. There's a fashion section, and if you go there, they also have a sales thread. And it's pretty good. I mean, it will give you. I mean, a lot of people like updating that thread. Just you know, different sales, different sales deals. So yeah, I mean, check those out. And uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and find more steals and save a lot of money. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.